Okay, so the recording has started. Good to everyone. Uh, good afternoon. I hope we're all doing fine. <laughs> so yes, uh, let me drop the link to um, the minutes. I uh, will drop it in the chat now so everyone can just fill in their names. And I dropped a question. So I'm the one facilitating today. We have like just a very little question being about what your favorite color is. So you can just put in your name and your favorite color then it would be very nice. So uh who's going to take can you share your screen? Oh she I should share my screen. And that's now a very very I can um, scary thing to do. No, because I don't know what happens <laughs> to my to my Zoom anytime I try sharing screen. It doesn't share a I have no I have no idea. But okay, it should it should work now. Okay, I hope everyone can see my screen. Yes, we can. Okay. Ah good, perfect. All right. So um yeah, who's going to be like the note taker for this week? Okay. Someone can help us with that. So um yes, after that we can just move to the next thing. So welcome newcomers. Do we have any newcomers on the call? Don't be shy. You can signify in the chats. I can't see the chats though. I don't know why. Yeah, you won't be able to see the chat for some time. I think you have to, I don't know, there's a way you can see the charts though. Okay, Aisha says she's a newcomer. Um, okay, welcome Aisha. Let, let's clap for virtually everyone. Where else is like a newcomer? You can just like react or something. Aisha, where are you joining us from? <laughs> Yeah, no, like you can yeah. unmute yourself and give a brief introduction of your name, what you do, and where you're joining us from. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Aisha. I am a front end developer and I'm joining from Nigeria. Hi, are you based in Lagos? Sounds like you're in Lagos. Yes, I am based in Lagos. <laughs> so, Lagos people have a way of the sound, right? It sounds so. <laughs> oh my God, Dwayne! Is it this? Uh, I I wonder. I wonder. Maybe it's because they they recognize Lagos people by their background sounds. It's oh my God! <laughs> Why just it is not noisy now? <laughs> oh yeah, welcome. I don't have. A, I don't have access to this document that you guys are editing. Oh, it's mm -hmm. it's for everyone. It's okay. It's okay. Just... Yeah, it's it's in the meeting agenda. Sorry, my bad. No problem. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Desmond. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry about that. Should I have shared it. I'll just keep the chat. I think I can keep the chat floating. All right. So everybody's putting black, black. Why is everybody copying me like this now? I'm wearing chaos after that shit. Don't shoot. Someone should put pink or something. <laughs> yes, I'm about what? to put pink there. Uh, yeah, thank God. Because <laughs> everybody's just black. I'm like, what's happening? All right. Some put black and white. That's nice. <laughs> Okay, so as we are filling the um attendee, the attendance, uh, the next thing on our agenda is the developer focus group updates. So I'll just be leaving or I'll be handing over to Adeka to give us um some updates from the uh group. Okay. Thank you very much. Um if you hi guys, I am so excited that's what's about what's going on at um the developers focus group because um 
we can uh we can kind of like see some progress we are more active than before and um here are some of the things that we have been able to do since the last time that we talked together uh we were able to carry out a demo session you know we raised some issues that some people really didn't know how to start contributing to the budget board because they are not even sure how to get the budget board to work on their um their local system someone is distracting me here saying it's okay so fresh sorry about that if you know please let me concentrate <laughs> All right, so we had that demo session and then uh, we were able to record it and put it on um, a YouTube channel and also on the Slack channel. Also, we uh, we were able to also uh, come up with tutorial in case you would want a document rather than watch a video and then place it under the contributed.md. And that is also available for the Angola community to, to translate for the uh, October 1st. So that is ready. Um, another thing we did was to, uh, we, we had some housekeeping on the repositories, the badging boards, the bot script and the badging website. We were able to clean up um, some issues to, um, be sure that all the issues that are there are now relevant and fresh and then we're able to match some pull requests to also the slack bot i'm not sure if um, the issues have been sorted out but work is also going on on the slack bot mm -hmm. uh what else what else then we now have active stand up every week we were even able to do something interesting yesterday. Enoch was able to take us through how to um link our PR with our with issues that we've um been assigned to, so that someone else could actually know what that someone is working on that issue, even though you are not done yet. So that's that's like another um knowledge that is added to the developer skill. So nice things going on. So if you are interested in, in contributing, just head over to our repos. Um, probably I will put the do our uh, developers' uh, minutes, I will put it on the chat for you to go through if you didn't, uh, you were unable to attend yesterday. So just go through the doc and look at all the links there. Um, if you really need the links to all of the repos that we've been talking about. Then after this meeting, by four o'clock, um, there is a meeting concerning Hogger, which is one of the um, software we develop at Chaos, and it's written in Python. So if you are interested, it's like a training where you get to know about that software and how you can contribute. And um, with what Enoch said yesterday, I think it's interesting if you are a Python developer because you get to know a lot of things like um Python, Graph and QL, PostgreSQL, uh, Rabbit DB, if I'm correct, and a, a lot of other things. So be sure to uh, log in by four o'clock, and that will be all. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, um, Adinka. I I know I mentioned about having some issues with the um, invite. I'll check the community calendar again to see if I can join. Cause I, I don't get updates. I don't I don't know why actually. So um, thank you very okay, much. Okay, you updates. mean from the, from the calendar, right? Yes, yes. It was showing six p.m. for me last week. So actually, yeah. you you were correct. It, we actually thought we scheduled for five o'clock. Unfortunately, it kind of clashed with another chaos meeting. So we had to, so we had last week's meeting on Google Meet because um, since we had already told um, a lot of people that it was five o'clock, we didn't want it to just go. So we had that uh, meeting at five o'clock, but later we asked every other person that was on the call, would they be, um, okay with having the meeting at six o'clock since um, 
another group is already having that slot yeah so that we can be able to use the zoom meeting and be able to record um our meetings so most people actually voted for six o'clock so we had it at six o'clock yesterday and we'll be having it at six o'clock in sports too okay i'll just keep an eye out then on my okay. email sorry my calendar um, okay. Also, does anyone like have any question concerning the um slack bar or anything that I think I said? Okay, someone actually asked. Yes. Question. So it, it's this same link. We will be finishing by um maybe some minutes before for just stay on. I think it's still the same link. Okay. Um, I don't have a question. But I just wanted to comment like the developer focus group efforts. Like, it's, I think prior two months ago, we were trying to see how we can reactivate that group, and like so much effort has been done. Thank you, Adinka. Um, and I think there's also somebody that's assisting in the project management, um, like the organizing that team so thank you very much as well like it's beautiful to see how much effort that has been done there's like an active standoff so which is really good because maybe okay i just remember something i wanted to ask about the, the uh, event budget website i don't know how how is that looking like what what state is the website now what's left to do how i will like gearing up to kind of finish up that website um and connecting back to the github copilot project that was recently done um that is also another website that we, we would maintain so what are the plans there as well have you synced with Catherine to kind of see what their roadmap is and how we can continue working on that project so the kind of like questions i have on like the two specific projects that we okay thank you very much Ruth I really appreciate that um concerning the budget website the last time we discussed about it uh we acknowledged that it has been inactive and the reason we was because some other urgent um project came up that will soon be launched that um, project budget and so the website was kind of on pause but now that we now have um program managers for each development project, of which um, Chidalu is one. Um, she will be working with Hinoch to make sure that um, it's been revived and then um, developers can contribute to it. So very soon, we are going to give you a report on that also. But I can assure you that there is a lot of work that is still needed to be done on the budget website so we'll give you an update then Catherine and um, the team jude and kingsley they are still working on creating roadmap for the uh for the uh, uh for the co-pilot project so i've not gotten any update from them but i am going to reach out to them this before the end of the week so that we can get an update so we'll let you know. Thank you very much. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. No, I said that's great. Thank you very much. I'll okay. just I think I okay. saw you know I, mean, I don't know who has been picking issues that they picked up. I think that's enough. So I've been getting like um emails about like bringing people on they have picked up for the badging website. So that's great. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you can take it. Okay. Thank you. Does anyone still have any questions? We can move on. So I'm looking at time. So I guess we we'll just move to the next one. So the designer group updates. Uh, is Kingsley on the call, or does anyone from like the design focus group have any updates for us? Okay, Victoria. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. From here, um, I assist 
Kinsley with the design focus group and we have currently or rather recently given tax to a few people we've not gotten feedback yet we had our last meeting last week Wednesday by 11 I think people have taken up tax even for the DEI badging website um, but we haven't gotten feedback from them just yet but the other designs that are needed urgently like maybe posters and not have been delivered aside that not no other um feedback from them we plan on maybe reaching out to them in our next meeting that's all all right thank you very much victoria for the updates okay. i don't think okay we'll... i have something to say yeah i think my internet is lagging but um I wanted to bring up like a converse, not conversation, but well, maybe a conversation. Um, and this is kind of related to partnerships, or should I just wait till that point? It's also related to design because I'm thinking of us designing more swags, and it's for a partnership that we have. Um, with Oscar chapter in Togo, but let me just wait till then. But I just do not want to forget that there are going to be here till that time, right? I cannot give in the call soon. No, I'm not. I'm here. with agenda bring conversation but is that okay i am ruth i think uh you were lagging for like a moment so um i, I didn't hear anything i don't know if it was just only me or it was everyone mm -hmm. okay um, so yes Okay, you can repeat. You can repeat it if you want. So we can just move on to like the next thing. Okay, I don't think. <laughs> okay, I think we will get back to risk. Hey, can anyone hear me? Do. I can hear you. All right. So yes. Yeah, Victoria. What's up? No, no, I, I thought my hand was raised. I tried to put it out. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. No problem. No problem. Uh, I think maybe you can just reach out to Ruth or what she said in case you didn't hear it clearly. Can you uh, hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Internet problems. Empty. Um, <laughs> no, empty and I'm using it again. I now use 501. Uh -huh. It's still uh, stopping my life. Um, was it on what I said? Like, did you hear what I said initially, or I need to like we start it? I, I was hearing about like creating more designs for like our um, merch. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, that's what so I collaboration. Yeah, I said I was going to maybe continue the conversation during the partnership. Um agenda items so we can go ahead all right Kinsley is here now so i don't know in case you want to get more information from him he just joined in hi Kingsley with a nice voice are you can you talk are you here i don't think I don't think so. He has not muted himself yet. I mean, when we get to the partnership, maybe we can just request for him to speak. So moving on to um our next item, we have uh the project manager team updates. I think that's for Bisayo. Yeah. Your... yeah, so I was the one that put that agenda item there because like a lot of the project managers are in this in this group. 
So I was going to kind of ask if there are th the things that they're working on. I know currently they're working on this accessibility, um, accessibility audit, and they're like a potential issues that would come out of there. So I wanted to kind of ask, um, with all they are doing, are there issues that, um, you know, people can work on that we can use on Hacktober first? You know all this kind of thing. So what's what's happening there? I don't think that people can get involved here as well, because I know that team is also pretty active, and then they also have like their usual meetings. Although it's not in chaos, it's not under chaos Africa. It's on like the general chaos project. So I wanted to know what's up there. How can people get involved? Are there potential issues that come out of, especially that accessibility audit spreadsheets that were shared? Um, are there potential issues that people can start working on? Um, can we give feedback to this later while we um, work on that with uh, the, the technical leads? Because we are yet to uh, get full access to that. We just uh, got uh, added to the project like uh, yesterday or two days ago, right? So we're here to, I mean, assess that and then we get together and then give you feedback on that. Can you just give us a few days? Okay, we can, yeah, I can, you we can like come back with feedback next meeting. That's fine. I just want to like point it out that maybe something that potentially like if there are issues that come up or contribution ways that people could contribute that come up during your meetings you can always bring it to this group and just like talk about it right. as well so yeah all right all right so uh yes we're moving to the partnerships um section of our agenda so I think this is where I'll be leaving it over to Roots for the Angola Open Source Community and for the Oscar partnership with um our Oscar with sorry, not our Oscar, we actually kids. Ah, with the Oscar chapter in the May. <laughs> okay. So um I think I announced this for the Angola one, I kind of announced it that was two, I think two meetings ago. So um, if you are not aware of it, we are partnering with Angola Open Source Community to work on like their hackathon, um, which is happening October 15th. So lately, um, Busayo and I think Adinka and some other folks have been working on like issues, potential issues that they can work on during the hackathon and what we kind of decided on, maybe I'll just let Busai talk about that part and and what um, they are working on. Busai, do you want to take it? Okay. Um. Hi everyone. So um, the partnership with the Angolan community, they have um technical issues already. So we're trying to create issues for like no code contributors and just simple issues that people from over there can work on. And one of that is translations. So they would be translating some of the chaos documentations that we have currently into Portuguese. So myself and Adenka have worked on creating like a translation folder. So to start off, we are working on the Slackbot documentation. So maybe if we have um, maybe more people that want to contribute, we can always look at creating more issues for them in like other repositories that we have in Chaos. So for now, we've created translation folders for um, um, Portuguese and we're just about to create issues. So I'm still waiting till maybe next week. So if you see issues on Portuguese on the issues tab for the Slack bots, know that that's what's going on. So that's the updates I have on that from my end. Thank you. So the since, since we need more non-code contributions, that's why we decided to like use um 
go through translations. I think I'd ask Kingsley if there are any design, potential design issues that they can work on. So I don't know if he's still here or like if you've thought about that. If they are known, that's fine. But like if they are non you know, design issues that we could they could potentially work on since they just need non-technical um contributions. Okay. Um I think you just uh, go is it the same uh for the Oscar chapter at yeah, it's, so... not, it's not the same. For this one, I'm just asking Kings if there are any issues, but if there are none, that's fine. Um or um, wait, can you hear me? Yes. Give me a second. Okay, so sorry. Um, yeah, there are actually a couple of issues, right, to work on. And um, so I'm just trying to put some of those issues together. So I think um, that will also include um, the African Open Source, um, um, the co-pilot project, right? So I'm also trying to put up some design issues from that angle. Then, of course, in Internally in Chaos Africa, we have a couple of design issues, you know, like the brand style guide, you know, and a couple of, though of course for the major part of the style guide, I'm um, just hoping that I'll just get to work on that with Victoria because most persons joining the community just need a guide to understand how to, you know, work on our designs and stuff. So for now, I think the major issues most, most likely will be coming from the co-pilot project because you really need help on that regard, yeah. So for that, I think um, uh, Jude and I, I think, and Catherine, I think she's on this call, we've already drafted a roadmap for the next phase of the project. So we're already discussing. So I think by next week, hopefully, and not just kind of like also because most of us saying next week, but by next week, we really have, you know, a couple of issues. Like, Okay. Okay, that, that's that's okay. That's great. So we can use the potential maybe two or three and just use because I'm trying, I'm going to create the um particular tags for that hackathon. So we can just use those ones for the hackathon and open the other ones for general Hacktober first issues. Um Okay. Okay. So if I can like um share the issues with you, maybe you'll now be able to decide which one goes for first. Yeah, maybe if you have like a dog, you can just leave them out for the meantime and then I can look through and just or you can just open up all of them and I'll just add the tags so I yeah. don't have to go to an extra step of reviewing the issues. Okay, yes. so we have um currently we have some openings on uh Chaos Africa repository already. So I don't know if you can also take a look. I'm just gonna add more. Um, okay. So, yeah, though some of those issues I think I just noticed on the talk. Um so yeah, share the feedback. We have a couple of persons pick up the issues and then um don't really get to follow up. So um Personally, I think I think apart from just one person that I've gotten a feedback from. So I, I don't know because now October 1st, a lot of persons will be coming on board to contribute. If there'll be a need to unassign, there's a word like that, and we assign to people <laughs> that might really want. We we need to we probably need to set like a timeline for when people pick up issues because while like everybody has their stuff they are doing, also need to ship things right so i don't yeah. know i think we need to have that conversation of okay if someone picks up an issue and they're not fixing it um they're not responding as well to when they will fix it we might need to reassign it to another person which is not not a bad thing like okay so maybe we need to come up with like some guidelines or Something like that. We can definitely do something. Just maybe come up with something. I think if somebody has been assigned to for quite some time, maybe 
depend on the parity level of the issue, right? So I think we can meet and come up with like something like that, even for developers as well. But I think yeah, something that we're doing is trying to ping people, okay, how far like um are you still fixing this? So we should come up with a timeline for that. Yeah, that makes sense. So I think I'll drop to the guideline oh, sort of guide contribution. I think lastly, to um just to remind you, I don't know if we are still having a session tomorrow, the October first um, um, series. And not we have, we have the design ready and um we're supposed to get the speaker. Yeah, we have to put the design to like next week because the speaker cancelled him from two and just the one that I wanted to put in for this week is not available this week. So like unfortunately we won't have any for this week. So I will give you the immediate shot. So. Okay. Um I think so far that's just it from my end. So if any other thing comes up, I'll raise okay. my hand. Thank you. Okay. Please, I have a question for Kingsley. All right. Um Sorry, uh, what kind of developers are you looking for for the next phase? Is this the more of React? Okay, you mean for Alphos, right? Yes, yes, for Alphos. Um, I think it is to be more front-end related issues because, okay. you know, for the project, um, we had, of course, the landing page, which we worked on that mm -hmm. displays um, some of the projects. When when a user clicks on uh, maybe one of the projects, it takes you to a page that shows you, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe just an additional link if there is an external link for the projects like their repository or website mm -hmm. store. So I think it's more of a front end thing. But then um um okay for now too we're still looking at um the maybe like an admin having one admin that maybe these guys get to submit their project uh, via Google form or email. I think we've still discussed that. You might just join that channel. I don't know why you have that channel. So um, when we get their emails, like when they submit, you know, so we review that and maybe we'll not be the one to upload this project. I don't know if you get it because if we want to make it open, like add this whole application process to the website oh, now, I think it's just gonna be a whole lot for now. So just to keep things simple, so um, applicants or project owners can send in their project via email, right? Or maybe Google Form or something. And then we will have to manually um, create it. So that implies that maybe we'll now need a backend hey. person Maybe a simple at me, but for now, the major work is just gonna be yeah. okay. Um, I'm, I'm asking this question so that we know that it's part of the project that we have and can push to our developers' channel because right now cool. we really, really are not discussing half force as a project that people should start looking into. I don't think you should initiate the conversation yet. Um, so um, I think um, by next week, making a lot of promises for next week. So by next week, um, uh, Jude and I, and I think Catherine, we're already going through the next phase of the project. So by the time we conclude, we will still need, you know, we still have to kind of like set the design thing in place before we start engaging developers. Okay. So I, I think when the design is almost like 50, 60 percent of stuff, I'm just gonna be sure of one part. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right. Moving on to roots for the Oscar chapter. Hey. Um, no, no. No. I don't know, it's really wrong, no, no, no. Togo. So it should be no man. But um, we had a reach out from their leads. Um, so they are, they want to kind of like something similar to what Angola Open Source Community is doing, like a a hackathon. And it, okay, it's an open source day. They call it an open source day. So they're doing an open source day, and they will be encouraging like um people in their community 
it's going to be in person. Um, they'll be encouraging people in their community to contribute to open source and they would want us to like, you know, um showcase chaos projects, um, maybe best practices, documentation, how men are interested in mentoring people during that day, even virtually as well. So they are also like um leaning on us for some help and they, they also require needed funding but because we have already like established some funding with angola open source community um i resorted to doing swags for them like sending them swags for their hackathon winners um so that's why i was talking about um new swag so we'll be doing like a swag pack for so supporting them with swags for their hack domina. So we'll do like a swag pack for them um, that I will send over. So I might want to go for the person um, depending on my schedule. Um, I could, I'm, I'm not going to go for Angola one again because for some reason, applying for an Angolan visa is so stressful. So I won't be able to go for that. Um, but for Oscar chapter Lume, we'll send them swag. So this is the design team. Currently, I think the swag designs we have are tote bags, a t-shirt. I'm wearing one. Yes, I'm wearing. Um, a t-shirt and stickers. So for the swag pack, I'm thinking something like a coffee mug, um, a t-shirt, and that's for the winners. I think there are about three winners with three winners. So we design like the box for three people and maybe general t-shirts. I'm thinking something like a coffee mug, a t-shirt, um, a hoodie, those three items and stickers are okay for a, a pack right so i think there's a hoodie design kids have you seen one before i think there's a hoodie design for chaos africa for chaos africa yes um i, I think maybe just max your work one of those for yeah, social check that private team and just confirm maybe we need to design like a copy mug as well so yes i will check the driver and let you know but we might even i'm still thinking of if we want to do general swags for october first we have like some budget for that but it depends maybe next meeting i can update y'all but hope you all are participating in Hacktoberfest, so maybe we can. Make some Set. swags. Oh, yes, I think Hacktoberfest is not doing swag again. Yeah, it's stripped off like their t shirt. So you only plant three. <laughs> and it's okay, the swags. Yeah, so um, I think I, I think just to say your, your design team can get creative with the swags. We can, you know, print something and send to people. So just um design extra and then we can pick what's like something to customize in a box or just have even a shop maybe. So that's for the partnership with them. So the the request here is maybe are there people that are interested in like mentoring or that we can send to them? Are there people that are interested in how would I say it now? So we have some projects. I think this this translation thing we are doing for Angola open source community is going to be applicable to them as well. Because I think Togo is a Francophone country. So they speak French. So we can also have some translation issues that they can translate as well. So maybe this is to Busaya as well. Maybe we can do something for some issues for Oscar chapter in Lume. Yeah, I already created a folder for them also. Okay, that's that's great. I think I mentioned it to you, yeah. Yeah. So if you're interested in maybe mentoring them in open source or speaking to them, doing a talk, um <laughs> somebody let me download that link. When I was 
okay, that's not you can reach out to me, mentoring. Okay, just put your names down. I'll reach out to you and then you can continue the conversation like async. So that's great because they are they do need mentors. Um and it's going to be one day thing, so it's not going to be like an extended thing. So because I'm very skeptical of sending people um people human resources is very valuable so it's going to just be for the day of their open source day <laughs> people should put if he hands me more because she um okay so i think that's all on the partnerships part for have to, does anybody have any question uh, i don't Yes, please. I do have a question. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. So for the Lume, for the Lume Oscar chapter, uh, open sense day. So is it, is it, uh, the mentorship? Is it for? Is it virtual or even like? It's going to be. Ver I need to even confirm with um who reached out to me. Let's see. I'm going to confirm with their lead, but I, I, I'm guessing it's going to be virtual because I had not told him I would be coming there. So I, I think it's going to be virtual, um, to be a virtual thing. Confirm as well. Okay, thank you. All right, I think we're moving to the last thing on our agenda. I believe. October first. So I know Ruth said something about October first. So please don't be like yeah. I've not started. I've not started contributing. Um, we what we have just been doing lately is like more of like engagement on our socials, right? We plan to do a Twitter space this week, but the speaker was not available, so it's like going to be next week. But we had a reach out for this company called Tublian. Um, it's like an open source. Where you can find issues on open source. So let me let me get their site again. So they want they are going to be doing like a Twitter space with us. Um they're going to be doing a Twitter space with us. I think in the third week of um October to talk about their platform, how to find open source issues. I'm going to send the link. So they have this very interactive platform where you can like find issues or projects to contribute to they also have this program um where you can um apply be part of like um a program to get mentorship in open source and then go through a I'm trying to remember go through like a cohort study You can, I think the the top people can they they will give you like internships or something. So there's a way the explain, but you can explore the platform. I just sent the link to the chat, so you can check it out to help you. Like we have this co-pilot thing where like AI to find jobs, something like that. So they'll be talking more about their platform that's doing that our October first with that space. So that's kind of how we. One thing we are doing for October first. Then for us, other company that is there, yes, form breaks. Same thing. We also doing a Twitter space with them. They have this hackathon this month of October. Um, so they are also like talking about their hackathon and they have prizes as well. So basically, uh, in in a wrap. Our October first plans had been around spaces, Twitter spaces for issues. I think it's something we are still working on, and maybe with the AFOS team having their roadmap all set, we can now start tagging issues that are related to October first, and people can start working on them. But so far, it has just been us trying to plan Twitter spaces or X spaces, whatever it's called. It. So that's major the updates there to that end any All question right. any feedback any questions does anyone have any questions um, 
doesn't look <laughs> like but but suspense turns to a very awkward one. Okay, so I think is this where we ask general questions? So does anyone have anything to say? Something like that. It's not on the agenda. Maybe there's something we forgot. Something. Um please I just want to say something quickly. It's a day. Okay. I just want to thank um my fellow developers. Um that I'll be just I'll be mentioning names, people that I've reached out to, and I just say, please can you make this available for tomorrow? We need this done. And I say, okay, okay, I will look to it. So this month, obviously, is more one of them. I reached out to Kovi, Faith Kovi, and she was able to do that. Um and um Wachuku Emmanuel, I'm not sure he's around, but there has been positive um responses from from people, and then I see people showing up also. That makes me very happy and even motivated to do more. Thank you for making the job easier. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Thank you to that team. I'm so excited as well. I really love the work that you all are doing. Oh, I did see um a little comment. My my laptop is blue. That's why I put it off. I need to charge it. <laughs> but thank Cause you. Because you're too hot. So you have to go down. Ah, okay. Nice one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think we've gone to an end. Oh, well, for we'll the Yes. yes, that's what I want to ask. So, who, who I, want to I think deep dad has been taking the notes. I'm definitely sure it's deep dad. Is who? Deep dad has been taking the notes. Oh, uh, Roots. Okay, so all she said she wants to take for next week. So, I'll just put on the. Huh? Who took the notes today? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know actually. No, uh, the person did not put the name. The person. What the person that took the notes? Oh, Yinka. Yes. Uh, Ruth, you're correct. It was me. Yes, see, I, I'm correct. So, Yinka, thank you, Yinka, for taking notes for us. Um, all right, thank no you. No worries, thank you. Sure. All right. I'll see you all next two weeks. All right. Bye everyone and please. Thank you, Fihan. Oh, Bye is it everyone. Is it under Yuka or Yuga? Yuga. Yuga. Okay. Bye, IG. <laughs> yeah, for those who are interested Bye, in the all, all, it's going to happen here. So you can just... Yeah. So for all people right, like that are interested, you can stay back. All right, I'll stop the recording. Stop this thing. <laughs>